I'm Kate Kelly with America Comes Alive, where you'll find great stories simply told. What's called the Mae West Life Preserver has saved thousands and thousands of lives. It was a vital piece of safety equipment on ships and airplanes during World War II. But when it was invented, the preserver had nothing to do with the military. The inventor himself, Peter Marcus, was a sporting goods store owner in Minnesota. He was well aware of the number of boating and fishing accidents that occurred in his state, and he felt like there should be some type of life vest that the fishermen would wear. There were, of course, life vests, but no one liked to wear them. They were cork-filled and bulky. Marcus was a fly fisherman, and he understood how the sportsman felt. If you were casting a line when fishing, the bulky vest was very likely to get in the way of your arm as you tossed out the line. Marcus began experimenting. Using a man's vest as his basic pattern, he used rubberized cloth for the vest, and it was designed to slip over a person's head. Panels in the front of the vest were flat, but could be inflated. To inflate the vest in times of emergency, Marcus added small cartridges of fluid carbon dioxide to each side of the vest. When the wearer needed to inflate the preserver, he could tug on cords that released the fluid, causing carbon dioxide gas to fill up the vest's air pockets. Peter Marcus received a patent in 1928. Then he contacted a manufacturing company with which he did business. If they would make the vests, he would promote and sell the product. Everyone liked the deal, and Marcus received royalty payments on all vests sold. Countless times, he demonstrated how these vests could save lives. In the 1930s, a Navy captain saw the demonstration and realized the value the preserver could have for the military. At that time, the military life preservers were much like what sportsmen wore. They were either made of cork or balsa wood, both of which were bulky and uncomfortable. Marcus was invited to come to Washington to demonstrate the jacket. The military purchasing agents liked the idea. They asked for only one change. The vests needed to be made in a bright color. That way, if a plane went down or a ship was lost, rescue teams searching for the crew would have an easier time. The vests soon made headlines. In 1935, the dirigible, the Macon, went down in the Pacific. 100 crewmen were on board. 98 of them were safe because they were wearing May West life preservers. When World War II began, Peter Marcus wanted to do more for his country, so he canceled his patent rights. From that day forward, the vests were available to the government royalty-free. Today, the military still uses a form of the life vest, and the next time you fly on an airplane, you'll see that the life jackets shown in the safety demonstrations are still based on the May West model. This life preserver is an invention that has stood the test of time. I'm Kate Kelly with America Comes Alive. Look around and see what inspires you.